Hello, everyone. I think this is working properly. Grab your favorite drink. I'm going to speak very quickly because I don't know if it's this Chicago weather, but internet is acting sketchy. So Nika here with your daily neuro nugget, and I'm sure that a lot of you have already heard about the motion to unseal in this case. This is a big deal. And it's especially a big deal, in my opinion, if you are in the camp that believes that Brian Koberger is guilty. Why? When I first heard that everything was secretive, gag order, nobody could talk, everybody went silent. I thought it was a little bit odd, but I understood that. Now, when the prosecutor's office wanted everything sealed, I thought that was a little bit sketchy. When Koberger agreed to the sealing of these very important documents, that raised internal red flags for me because I'm thinking, why would you want any of that stuff sealed if you are innocent? Wouldn't you want the truth out? That's what I would do if I was innocent. I wouldn't agree with the prosecutor's office to seal everything. Now, this new, just dropped legal document here is eye-opening. I'm going to link it in the description of the video. And I want you guys to actually go through all of the document, it's not very long, but this answered those questions for me. Mr. Koberger sought sealing of his filings solely based on email communications with the county prosecutor's office, stating they wanted the filings sealed. The deadline for Mr. Koberger's motion was imminent. Thus, in an abundance of caution, the defense filed the motion to seal. Counsel for Mr. Koberger informed the county prosecutor's office a motion to unseal was forthcoming. What do you guys take away from that? Because what I'm taking away from this motion to unseal is that the only reason that Koberger originally agreed to the sealing of these documents was because the prosecutor's office was pushing for that because he was running out of time. So he is very likely not guilty in my opinion. Why? Because if you're guilty, you're not going to suddenly do a whole switcheroo and decide that, you know what? Let's allow cameras, citizens to watch everything. You wouldn't do that. You would want things kept under wraps because whatever is sealed, once it comes out, there is no going back. The fact that suddenly Koberger is saying, you know what, this has dragged on far too long. We need to allow the truth to come out, unseal these documents because I didn't want them sealed anyway. I want people to see the truth. I want people to understand what's going on because that's how you come to a fair trial. That's how you get to the truth. So this to me just shows that there's way more going on than we know. This defense, his team, everybody involved that's backing him 
they're good lawyers, I think. I had my doubts in the very beginning when it came to Ann Taylor. Kind of sketchy. I may still have some doubts, but this is showing me that I think the case is actually going somewhere. And I want to know if you are in the camp that believes that Mr. Koberger is actually guilty of being involved in this crime. What is your opinion? What do you, why, why, would, why would he suddenly decide to unseal all of these documents? If you think he's guilty, why is he suddenly changing his mind? Wouldn't it be in his best interest to keep all this under wraps? I think we're getting to the point where Brian Koberger is actually going to start playing. He's going to start moving his chess pieces, if you will. Because the man has been in jail for over a year now. And maybe he's finally coming to the conclusion that he's got nothing to lose. The only way to have a go at this case is unseal everything. Let the truth come out. Let these legal documents be opened fully, thoroughly, so that all of us who are watching from afar, from other countries even, have access to all the facts. I myself, I'm going to be very intrigued to see what is in these legal documents because again, it's been very hush hush. Everything's been kept under wraps. What are they hiding? Who are they protecting? Why is the prosecution pushing for everything to be so secretive? If they are so sure that Mr. Koberger was actually involved in the crime, why not just show us? Show us what you have. Show us the evidence. So I hope this motion goes through. I hope these documents are unsealed because it's been over a year. And I think all of us at this point in time understand that there's something that is secretive, something that is unsaid. And the more time I spent in this case, the more I'm more and more sure that Koberger probably had nothing to do with it. You know, in the beginning, it's very easy to want to speculate and say, maybe he knew the victims, maybe he knew family of the victims, maybe he knew them through school. But the evidence that we have currently, the secretiveness from Moscow Law, Moscow LE, is odd. So I'm going to probably not sleep until I find out what is going on with that. I'm very excited. What do you guys think is gonna is gonna happen? We can only speculate, right? We can only theorize. Somebody asked me to to share who do I think did it? I'm not ready to fully share that yet. There are so many people that could have been involved, more than one. In my opinion, it was more than one person. I've talked about this in other videos. The crime again was very rapid, very minimal. DNA was left. And let's not forget about the other DNA that was never tested, right? Why did we just forget about that? I didn't forget about that, but they want us to forget about that. Why? Because when we discard whatever evidence doesn't suit Moscow PD's case, 
it's easy to come to a very simple conclusion to say, yeah, it was this weirdo with the white car. The insomniac, the vegan. But let's not forget those bits and pieces of evidence that matter, especially when it's DNA of two other people that as far as we know, has never been tested. That on his own is extremely suspicious. So those are my thoughts for the day. By the way, some emails have asked me, I use Botox. No, see that? I'm allergic to everything. Um, I'm just pretty good at keeping and resting the ITCH face. I do smile a lot. So I'll take that as a compliment. You can make berry lipstick. Guys, I'm sorry. I know you don't want to hear about lipstick, but literally you can mix a little bit of coconut oil with a uh, pigmented clay or a berry, like a raspberry. Because when you're allergic to everything and you want a little bit of color, this is what we do. Put raspberries on our lips. So, I really should get to work. It's only it's only Wednesday, but it feels like Friday. It feels like a Friday at 4.30 p.m. Do you ever wonder, like, I wonder what Brian is doing right now? Sitting in his tiny cell potentially being innocent. He is intelligent. He is driven. Does he have books to read? Okay. I like to think of myself as somewhat smart, somewhat driven. And I'm trying to put myself in his shoes. It would be so physically uncomfortable to be in a tight little spot, but even more mentally uncomfortable where you can't, you can't ask things, you can't learn things. I mean, things, random things. My brain is always going, guys. I'm always learning, always learning nonstop. I'm not saying that's a good thing. It could be overwhelming for my peers and my family and my loved ones. But can you imagine not having like a very good book where you're learning? I'm a believer that the truth always comes out. Because it always does. Even if it takes 50, 80 years, it always does. I'm a believer that there's something hidden here in this case. And when the truth comes out, it might be too late. Hopefully it isn't. That's why I always remind you guys, do your own research, share your research with me. I even created an email that you guys asked me to make so that if you want to send me anything related to this case, you can do so. I always read the comments, even if I don't always have time to reply.
All right. Enough lollygagging. Oh, and yes, English is not my first language. I spoke four languages before I learned English. So thank you so much, guys, for correcting me because I'm still learning. I was born and raised here, but I come from my multi-quadruple lingual home. So language is... I think in other languages sometimes, and I have to translate, and I have ADHD. Um, I appreciate you guys correcting me. And English is very hard. It might be the most difficult. So how do you say the last name? Seamus? Seamus, right? Not Seamus. Thank you. Well, you guys have a wonderful night. Take care. Stay safe. Stay hydrated and drink tea so you don't get those rounds and so you don't need Botox. Horsetail. I grew it myself. Have a good night.